All right, guys, today I'm going to show you a quick technique I use to clean up dirty old drum brakes. Uh, this drum brake's really nice. I want to use it in this track, but it's got a lot of high-frequency hiss in the back, and I need to really take that out before I can maximize its potential. It's nice. It's dirty. It's got a lot of hiss in there. Some people say it's character. I say it's taking up way too much headroom in the mix. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to use a technique that's going to be similar to gating, but we're just going to be using a few different settings in the warp function to get rid of that extraneous noise. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to make sure it's warped to your liking. Uh, you're going to come down here to the warp mode, set it to beats. You want to set the granular resolution to transients, and you want to turn the transient loop mode off. Uh, this envelope is what we're going to be messing with. We're going to play it and start to drag it down. You'll start to hear the difference. Sounds much better. Then you kind of come back and put the sample in the space you want it. You can add your own reverb. A lot of times I'll filter off the low end and, and back it up with a different kick drum that I like. Add a little bit more compression. You add back in some hi-hats. 